Greetings, traveler! If you've noticed from the last video, if you watched it, that I'm wearing the exact same outfit, it's because I am! I'm recording these back-to-back, -back, so just enjoy. Here's the second part of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear if Thancred like sacrificed himself doing that someone's about to catch hands oh, I can't guarantee you'll be of help in these strange surrounds but I'm ready to provisions note in case of emergency Oh, I just noticed y'all are talking in chat. Hang on. Aw, someone was here. <sighs> Don't you be thankred. <laughs> oh, I missed what, what Living Way said. Hang on. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Of course, if you encounter any real danger here, I expect you to return to the Ragnarok at once. Oh no. Oh no. I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> What is that? Why is the S and the A like that? There's a cat hair on my lip. <laughs> We're fortunate this place can support life, albeit barely, I suspect, given the torpid, stale quality of the air. But never mind that. We must find Thancred. Yeah, let's begin our search from the prow of the ship. It seems as good a direction as any. Oh, what is that thing? Try not to stray too far, lest we lose sight of one another. We're gonna get eaten out here. Astinian! Right? That's Astinian? It's gotta be Astinian. Holy heck, this is so pretty. <gasps> I thought this hill might afford a better view of, the, of our surroundings, or decision in hindsight. Besides the light from the ship, all is shrouded in darkness. If Thancred is here, I'd never know it. Mm, I don't like that. From what I can tell, we are near the edge of an island, if you can call it that, surrounded by floating debris. Okay. <sighs> oh, not the scary music. All right, were you able to find anything? As I feared, and still no trace of Thancred. I have so much anxiety right now. <laughs> There's nothing but emptiness as far as the eye can see, which unfortunately isn't very far. Oh, I can't help but suspect that someone or something is here. There are times when I sense it drawing close, and then a chill washes over me, leaving me exhausted. Leaving me with feelings of death and anguish. Okay, I was like, did she not see it? Oh God. Wait, what? She doesn't see it. What are you talking about? There's nothing there. 
say me. I'm assuming Ishtola doesn't see it. Before we jump to any conclusions, perhaps we should search elsewhere. Agreed. We found only more questions when we in wait. We found only more questions when we are in desperate need of answers. There's a fair stretch of terrain from the ship's port side we've yet to explore. Let us try searching there then. I don't like that. Sam, a word before we join the others. Do you see it, Estinian? Oh my gosh. So you do see them! Why'd you make me look like I was nuts? You see them too, don't you? The dragons. As I thought. Their presence is tenuous at best, but there's no mistaking it. No doubt your bond with Midgar Somer and mine with Nidhogg is what allows us to perceive them. Could these apparitions be related to the dragons that now live on Aetherius? Ooh. Bah! <laughs> Better to leave such conjecture to the others. In any case, we must be careful. We may soon find dragons they can see as well. Hmm, death and anguish. What happened to them, I wonder? Okay. Seem so. What you see is a memory Ugh. of a world that once was. A world suffering a slow death. Whose denizens cried out for the release of oblivion. What? Their world is dead? Where's Thinkrid? Ask that! <laughs> It is. Not a single life remains upon that husk floating in the vast emptiness. These creatures are shadow in shade, perpetuated only to suffuse Dynamis with their unending lamentations. Our friend Sancred. Yes, thank he? you. A strange question. He is at your side, is he not? What? Oh, yes. He is here and there and everywhere within this space. He would tell you himself if he had form to form words. Huh. Such loathing and uncertainty. You don't know why you still exist. In like manner to the oblivion I send. I try to drown out your ether with dynamis. Beginning with this Thancred, who came at me despite being unable to breathe. Such a simple thing, unmaking men. In the blinking of an eye, he was gone didn't even have the chance to be transformed. What? Yet somehow, he managed to leave a sliver of himself behind. What you call... the heart? Or perhaps the soul? In his final moment, he... cried out from it. A single word. Survive. <gasps> what the that hell? wish proved stronger than the despair that ruled here. It He's not dead, is he? Causing this space to be remade. Into a place you can perceive. And where life can endure. That you draw breath is proof that his soul lives on. For how long, however? 
remains to be seen. Well then, we should hurry and tend to business. Huh? It's futile. You will never reach the true me. I told you. Emotions dictate reality in this space. Such changes as you might work will not alter its nature. You may see, but you cannot touch. Walk, but not advance. <laughs> Meteon holds too much sway here. How do we contend with a foe who can unmake us on a whim? I do not know. But Tancred gave his life that we might come this far. We must press on. It's not dead. Agreed. We cannot turn tail here. Not without something to show for our comrade's sacrifice. He's the one I said specifically can't die. <laughs> oh, I hate this. <laughs> no, he needs to see Rain again. <laughs> he can't be dead. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Boy, look at how big he is. <laughs> he's 
the big lad. everywhere now <laughs> it's always his stream um i know it's early but i think that that's where i need to stop <laughs> look at <laughs> look at my body it shows anxiety through my neck i am freaking out <laughs> 